Hello awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do unboxings, makeup try-ons, and I throw in all kinds of things to keep you on your toes. And today is another Mask Monday. And I'm going to be using my Honey Royal Jelly Sheet Mask by Earth to Skin. My daughter got this for me last year in my Mother's Day gift. This is my second time recording this video. Because the first one, the lighting sucked so bad. So I rearranged my Christmas stuff behind me. And I added some white, like, cloth. Hoping that if I had a little bit more white, that my lighting would be a little better. So, we will find out. This mask don't want to <laughs> go apart. Oh, it's going to be so cold. It is horrible. It is absolutely horrible where I'm at. It is snowing. Yesterday, it was a rain snow. Couldn't decide what it wanted to do, and then it end up just deciding to just snow the rest of the night. So we woke up to a lovely pile of snow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy, that is cold. It's always cold. So, how's everybody doing on this fine Monday morning? I hope you all are doing great. I know I'm doing good for the most part. I hate that it doesn't stick. Like, I haven't tested it. Even when you lay down, it don't like stick because I was like watching. I don't know what I did with my little roller thing. I lose everything. I absolutely just lose every single thing. Anyways, so I wanted to tell you guys about my friend mail that my friend Kathy Brash and a fellow YouTuber sent me. I would show you the package, but it has my address on both sides. And I don't know if it's because it came from Canada. That's just the way they did it. Or if um, they just, because she wrote it down and then they put like a sticky thing on it on the other side of it. So anyways, she sent me friend mail and she sent, even though it's horrible to suck it because I use it already. Let me try to wipe it off a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. I talk and it moves. Okay. So she sent me this brow bar by Rena. Rena? And it's because I really think that she was like, girl, because I, I bought a brow bar like a while back ago on BoxyCharm Pop Pops, and it was for your eyes. Like, seriously. And so I was like really confused. And then she's like, I've got, I've got the actual brow bar. And she got a hold of me and asked me if she could send it to me. And I said, yes. And so anyways... I finally got it. That's what it looks like, and I'm so excited. And let's see, those are the colors. And then you have this cute little, uh, what is it called, brush. And that's what I've been using to do my eyebrows with because the ones that you normally get are really small. And then I feel like these ones are just too big that I can't control my outcome. But that one is just right. And then this is just a, you know, brow thing to do. So I haven't played with this yet. Light brown is too light for me, but the dark brown is just right. And then I'm thinking when I run out of the dark brown, I can take the light brown and the black and mix them together to make the brown that I need. So win-win. I try to use every single thing that I can. And I want to thank you so much, Kathy. I absolutely love this. This is what I thought I was getting. Even though, even though I didn't actually read the description of the makeup, Oh yeah, and she put this really cute sticker on the back of it. I think that is just great. 
I don't know if that was meant for me or if she did it when she got it and uh, to like mark her stuff. But either way, it's like feels like it's marked for me. So I always know that's my brow bar. And that's annoying when I talk, huh? Oh, well. So anyways, so I got that. So I wanted to talk about that. And then I also wanted to talk about how <sighs> Michigan is shutting down again. They're shutting down schools. Got a phone call saying that all virtual learning goes back into effect as of today. And we got that phone call last night. So that kind of sucked. Not for us really because most of our kids do virtual learning anyways. Our oldest that lives in the house now, who's 17, he went to, which is like he was learning how to cook and stuff. And we're not sure what they're doing with that. We got to find out. We don't know if they're closing that down or if we're going to have to figure out how to transport him to and from there. My oldest 18-year-old, who was a senior, he decided to move out and move in with his sisters. So, and they're doing all virtual learning already downstate. So, like, so it doesn't affect us, but there are a lot of people that it does affect. And I feel really bad for them. And... I just can imagine how hard it is for those parents that don't have a babysitter, that have no way of, you know, <sighs> making sure that their kids are taken care of while they're working or they're going to lose their jobs or, you know, so um, this whole pandemic is just so horrible and I don't know why. I don't know why we're still having to deal with it. It's like, I don't want to, you know, piss anybody off, but there's a good chance I'm going to because I just kind of feel like this is the good Lord's way of population control. Like, I don't feel that we have the right to intervene on what his plans are and if he planned a pandemic and he planned to wipe out a certain amount of our population with this pandemic then I feel that we as humans should allow that to happen just let it take its course instead of trying to stop it trying to prevent it but nobody thinks that way I'm not a very religious person don't go to a church, but I do read my Bible when I feel like it. I do pray, and I have a very different way of looking at things than most people do. So I just think that instead of trying to stop this from happening and shutting down the world, that we should just let it take its course, and those that don't make it were meant to be, and God had another you know, uh, plan for them. And those that do make it, we're still here for whatever reason until it's ready for us to be our time. But yeah, so that's how I feel about the pandemic. That's why I don't stress about it. That's why I'm not worried about it. And that's why I don't wear a mask unless I absolutely have to, because the way I look at it is if the good Lord wants me to get the COVID-19 and if it ends up taking my life, then that's what was meant to be. But um, if people look really, really hard into it, the people that are dying are the ones that were already really, really sick. So, you know, maybe God's just helping them out. I don't know. That's just how I feel. So for those of you that don't believe in the good Lord or don't have a God that you do, you know, you're an atheist or whatever, you know, you can keep your comments to yourself because I used to be an atheist and I know what you're going to say. I know everything you're going to say. So anyhow, those are just my opinions. It's no facts. It's just what I think. And oh yeah, I also wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think of my name change? Like my last live, like it came to me, I'd been thinking about it. I needed to change my name and it just hit me. Joy keeps you on your toes. And there's a few people on mine and Allie's live. And I was like, what do you think? I was like, I was thinking about changing my name. And a couple of people were like, yeah, 
I sing that with you or I say that with you when you're saying it. So I went ahead and then I changed my name. And right now I'm also playing with pictures because just I honestly like to change my pictures a lot. So don't be surprised if you guys get on one day and I have another picture and then a couple of days later you get on and there's a different picture. Um, I'm just a selfie type person and I don't get on Facebook anymore really except for to like post you know about my videos to try to get more followers people to watch my um, YouTube videos more but so I figure I need some place to post my selfies and it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be here on YouTube that's that's all I can say so this mask is like super duper moist still and I forgot to read how long that it was supposed to take so I'm gonna pause you guys all and let and see how long it's supposed to last and if it's one of those like 20 minute to half an hours then I'm just gonna get back on when the time is done alrighty see ya in a minute okay so it was a half an hour one so we're gonna go ahead and take it off that. I decided to turn my little thingy on. Figured might as well. Okay. I'm just going to pat this in. Let it dry. And I wanted to bring up that today is the last day that you can enter into my 200 subscriber um, giveaway which actually happened about 230 something subscribers but i will post the video up here so if you have not watched it and you would like to participate in that giveaway you can go watch the video and do what needs to be done and then tonight at 1159 the giveaway ends tomorrow i will pull the winner Possibly tonight if I'm still awake. It just kind of depends. I've been falling asleep between 11.30 and 12.30 now. But if I'm awake, then I'll do it tonight. If not, then tomorrow morning when I wake up, I will record that video of who the winner is. And I will post that immediately. So probably before 10 a.m. tomorrow, the winner video will be announced. Anyways, this is my skin. I like it. It's almost dried, which is good. And that is all I have for you today on this Mask Monday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome. Peace.